Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and in today's video we're going to be doing another reaction video this time to the brand new first trailer for the Joker uh, the new Joker movie which is directed by Todd Phillips starring Joaquin Phoenix. I have been eagerly anticipating this trailer. I was very very excited yesterday when we found out we were going to be receiving the trailer today. I have stayed away from it. It's been out for a few hours now but I was in work so I wasn't able to record a reaction to it so I've stayed away from it. I have not seen it yet but I'm very very excited because this movie just seems like something that I would be particularly interested in and something that I just very much appeals to me uh, in the superhero genre. So with all that out of the way with all that said, let's jump in to the reaction. Arthur, does it help to have someone to talk to? Joaquin Phoenix is just going to kill it in this role. He just is. My mother always tells me to smile and put on a happy face. She told me I had a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. I just, I, I, I already love, I love the look and the tone. Me. Or is it getting crazier out there? Smile, though your heart is aching. Smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, so is he what? Is he a psychoanalysis in this? <laughs> to your parents, I <laughs> and maybe tomorrow you <laughs> What's so funny? Freak! <laughs> I'm confused as to what his job is in this. God, but he's lost his way. What kind of coward would do something that cold-blooded? Someone who hides behind a mask. That's us, Thomas Wayne. And that's and Bruce Wayne. I used to think that my life was a tragedy. Oh wow, De Niro. <laughs> now I realize. It's crazy the level of cast they've got it's for this. A comedy. Oh, he looks great. Oh, he looks fantastic. You just Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, so I just had another watch of the trailer just then, just after posting that reaction. It really looks pitch perfect to me. Like, that really looks like exactly what I was hoping for. Like, Joaquin Phoenix just doing a pure character study on something like the Joker is just incredibly interesting. It's so different to any other superhero movie or any, even every, any other comic book movie we have out there. It's so drastically different and so very visually different to anything we've seen before because it doesn't have any flashy colors. It's not out of this world at all it's incredibly gritty dark and realistic and that's exactly what i want from this type of film obviously this being directed by todd phillips director of the hangover and also war dogs which is a very underrated film i add um he, I, he just feels like a really good choice and a really good fit for this particular film and obviously having joaquin phoenix there he looks like he's absolutely perfect casting for this role very inspired casting too and it just looks great overall i love the tone of it i love the the just the visual aspect to it i really enjoy how it's showing just really this Kind of just deep, dark, and broken man. Because allowing the audience to sympathize with a character before they become a villain is incredibly smart to do. And obviously, I don't think we're going to see Wacky Phoenix play the Joker again after this movie. I'm sure this will be a one-term thing. But the idea of him just allowing us to sympathize with him, so when he does eventually become the Joker and take up the mantle of the Joker by the end of the movie, we have seen his, you know, we've seen his arc. We've seen where he began, and we see why he became that type of person. And I think that's really, really smart. We got to see Thomas Wayne there as well, which was really cool. We got to see Bruce Wayne. So, and obviously Robert De Niro's in this movie as well, which I completely forgot about until I saw it in the trailer. Because um, I believe, like, Scorsese was attached to produce this at one point. He might still be. Uh, Bradley Cooper, I think, is producing this as well. So there's a lot of big name talent behind this. And clearly this is, like, expanding out to people who wouldn't typically get involved in the superhero comic book genre it's expanding out further than that and that's what's really important about this movie 
So I'm convinced. I'm really happy with it. I'm really excited about this movie. It's, you know, if you saw my top 10 most anticipated of the year, I believe it was my number three, uh, just under Star Wars Episode Nine and then Endgame. So I'm pretty hyped for this film. And this trailer did a good job of getting me even more excited. But what did you guys think? What did you think of the trailer? Make sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I hope to see you guys again in my next video.